Hi everyone. Um, I'm gonna go outside right away. Um, I'm just gonna do this video. Um, show you guys a little bit. Uh, well, I made those meatballs the other day with uh, the little one. So I wanted to put a, an actual uh, recipe together properly. So if you want to make them, you can make them. But uh, I want to run outside first and do a quick test. Uh, and in case you're wondering when I make videos, what I use is just a standard, you know, compact uh, camera. I like it. It has uh, two mics on the top. And today I'm going to test out my high quality, um, I guess, wind noise suppressor. Uh, a cotton ball stuck on the top there. Um, you know, got to do things cheap, right? So anyways, I'm going to give that a try and see how it works uh, out in the wind because I usually avoid uh, videoing out in the wind because all you're going to hear on here is a bunch of wind. Okay, so anyways, I'll get out there. Okay, we're outside. It's not uh, it's not super windy, but it, there's enough wind here where I, I'm pretty sure you get a bunch of wind ruffling in the uh, microphone. So let's give this a test. I'll do a quick little walk around uh, of the garden here. It's, uh, you know, I haven't done anything with it yet, but uh, we'll get at it. It's still way too wet. Um, I still have, I just left, this is broccoli, uh, just left that standing from, from the fall. I don't know, it got wet out and rainy out, so I just left it. Uh, anyway, so I have a couple of trees here. Um, I don't know what's going on with these trees. They started out actually uh, last year, um, or la two seasons ago, and they, they grew like massive, and I, I got to chop them out of there. They can't stay there. But um, maybe they're not too big. Maybe I'll be able to cut them out and plant them somewhere. But anyways, that's it. Uh, give me a couple months. In a couple months, we'll come back, look at the garden, or once I get things all going and cleaned up, and looks like a much different place at that point. Okay, hopefully this uh, mic idea worked, and I'm gonna go in and uh, show you on screen, not technically, but just uh, what I use to put together these video clips, and uh, voila, that'll be it for the day. Uh, do the videos here, well no, actually this is my daughter's, uh, she has a nice desk, you know, full desk, lots of room. Yeah, it's nice, and here's mine. I picked it up on the side of the road, so got it for free. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much about it. Um, and when I do the on-screen recording, I use a Yeti mic. Uh, they seem to be quite popular and they do uh, sound really good, you'll be able to tell. Although my camera speakers or mics are really good too for some reason. I lucked out on that, even though it's just a small little camera. Okay, we'll get at it. Okay, okay and just a quick rundown. I just want to show you what I use to put together these videos. Um, I use a program called Pinnacle Studio. Uh, this is what it looks like here. And basically uh, what you do is you import all the files, all your media files that you took with the camera. They're all here. And basically you take each one of these and you drag them down. And this, these are all the videos uh, right here. And basically right now uh, on this time, this is called a timeline here, there's almost 30 minutes of video and of course no one's gonna sit around and watch uh, a meatball video for 30 minutes so I have to do a lot of uh, cutting out speeding things up uh, simplifying you know elements in here and we'll get down to a nice uh, short video I really I don't ever like to go more than 10 minutes on something like this and I would really like it to even be shorter than that uh, five minutes would be nice but maybe we'll end up with eight who knows and basically, so you, you you have to do some cutting and chopping and this and that, adjust uh, volume levels, and then uh, these green boxes up here, it's really compressed right now because that's like 30 minutes of video, but uh, these boxes you put, uh, you can put text in here, create text boxes to explain things. Just drag this one out a bit. So I mean, you can take a look here. Uh, this you can add, you can uh, do effects and stuff on the uh, on the text. So you set that up, um, and then down here you can put in like music tracks. Of course, you'll have to go in and adjust volumes and whatnot. But anyways, that's sort of like the the general rundown of sort of what's involved. I I mean, 
it can be as simple or as complex as you want to make it um, because there's a lot of things that you can do with video and audio and stuff so anyways that's the start and uh, when I get the video all done about the, the meatball making then I'll just show you how uh, the process what you have to do to get it up on YouTube okay thanks and like I was saying it takes it actually takes several hours to put something like this together I mean even though this is a uh, very basic um, so if you recall uh, the original video was 30 minutes in length about and I managed to get it down to 1130 I just couldn't take too much more off of it I did want to have it about eight minutes but there you have it and um, I'll just give you a little lead-in uh, teaser here hello everyone I found a really simple well I've never made these before so we're gonna give it a try some meatballs I'm gonna get my uh, daughter to help me out here anyways there you go I'm gonna get this uh, this video up posted and uh, I will add in my uh, video log uh, which is what you're going to be listening to right here. And um, yeah, and I'll put a link uh, down in the description. If you like the video log, if you see it first, I'll have a link on, to, on, on it uh, in the description to go to this recipe so you can make it. It did uh, work out really well, so enjoy. Okay, and uh, here we are. We're just going to uh, end off the video here. Um, here we are I'm into YouTube and uh, we're just gonna go to uh, you know once you open up YouTube you're into your account and I'm just gonna go to the so you go to the file that you made uh, it was the easy meatballs it is now in a mp4 file which is I think that's the uh, preferred format so you'd click on it and I'm gonna just keep the title as that open that up and now it's going to start uploading here it'll take a little while depending on your internet speed and here you'd put a description uh, of the video and you can also put links down here which I will probably end up adding a link or something to somewhere um, here's tags you would put a tag in for when people do searches on YouTube uh, hopefully that will help them find the video and I guess the other things here uh, if you're on Google Plus or on Twitter you can add a message into this section uh, you'd make sure that it's public if you want people to see it and of course you would select the proper uh, play if you have multiple playlists then you'd want to add that into uh, a playlist so I'm just looking through mine here yeah I think uh, it would be uh, in the kitchen and more section so if someone comes to my channel and they want to specifically look at sort of um, videos that are similar in nature uh, they would go through and they would find the in the kitchen and more stuff but anyways uh, that's uh, how you go about it and there's you know there's other settings to go into but I'll, I'll leave that alone and uh, yeah that's a rundown hope you enjoyed the video and I will make a another uh, daily video log tomorrow hopefully if all goes well Anyways, take care. Have a good night.